So, says she's just a friend. All right, when we're looking at this, um, again, it's a x and y coordinate. We want to convert to polar, right? We want to convert from x to y to this crazy thing, right? Where this represents our r, and here's our thetas, which have 0, pi halves, pi, 3 pi over 2. So one thing that might be helpful, ladies and gentlemen, when we're using this, we're concerned about the radius, which is the hypotenuse, and theta. So let's graph 1 comma 1. Actually, let's do it even bigger. 1, 1. So the point right here is 1 comma 1, right? That's the x, that's the y. We are concerned about knowing what r is and what theta. R just represents the radius. It's also the hypotenuse of this triangle. So knowing that this is 1 and that's 1, and that this is a right triangle, can we figure out what r is? Of course we can. 1 squared plus 1 squared equals r squared. 2 equals r squared, square root, square root. r equals the square root of 2. So when I want to convert this, I'm going to have r is the square root of 2. Now notice, if that's 1, that's 2, that's 3, the square root of 2 is going to be somewhere in between 1 and 2, right? Whatever it might be. So it's going to be somewhere around this little, I'm going to make a makeshift ring in there. Um, now we need to be able to figure out what theta is. Again, the only thing we know is the opposite side and the adjacent side. So we can say tangent of theta equals 1 over 1. So theta, my angle, is equal to the tangent inverse of 1 over 1. So now I take my lovely calculadora. And make sure that I'm going to be using radian mode. And I say inverse tangent. Oh, I don't even need to do this. Um, so I'm taking the inverse tangent of 1, right? Guys, do you know, uh, you could plug in the calculator if you want to, but that's going to be a waste of time. Do we know on the, in, on the unit circle, is there a time when we have the opposite side or the adjacent side is equal to 1? Does anybody remember? There's a certain angle when you take the opposite over the adjacent. It's what? Yeah, because it's, remember, it's square root of 2 over 2 divided by square root of 2 over 2, right? At the angle pi over 4, it's square root of 2 over 2 divided by square root of 2 over 2. Nobody remembers. OK. So let's go and look at our unit circle. Remember, at pi over 4, this point is square root of 2 over 2 comma square root of 2 over 2. So if I said, hey, what's the tangent of this? It's that over that, which equals 1. So therefore, if that is my theta, or that's my r, my theta is pi over 4. Is that OK, Justin? 